This is my intro song. It isn't very long. That's all. Go ahead. Go on, watch the video. What is up, my amazing Diamond Cubs? Welcome back to Berry Cute Nails. Sending love as always. Peace and kisses. Mwah, 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 mwah. Glad you're all here today. Hoping you are all doing amazing. Today we are going to be working on my non-dominant hand. It's not going to be a big thing. Um, it's going to be a pretty simple set. So I'm going to go in with my uh, Forever Beauty Primer, which is more like a dehydrator. And then I go in with my Young Nails Protein Bond, which works as that double-sided sticky tape. Make sure that you get that good, strong bond with no lifting. All right, my loves, now we're going in with Born Pretty's uh, base coat. This is an awesome product. I love the brush on this. It is so amazing. I've never seen a brush like this. It's pretty standard in terms of the shape, but I love that it has that, like the end of the bristles are not black. So it makes it kind of easy to see where you're going. It makes it a little easier when you're working around your cuticles and stuff. But yeah, I'm gonna put a thin layer of this on all the nails and cure for 60 seconds. All right, so you know, um, last time we used dual forms, we're gonna use them again today with uh, Born Pretty's Jelly Non-Stick Hand Extension Gel in 029, which was that gorgeous milky white. If you didn't see that video, I'll try to link it above or in the description box, but it's these products are awesome. They are so easy to use, and I mean, I could probably do, a, if I wasn't like, you know, taking my time to show things and doing it, I could probably do a full set in maybe less than 30 minutes. It's very simple with doing dual forms. Dual forms are basically like, a, like you know, a, a cast or just a mold. And all you have to do is fill that up, keep it thin towards the cuticle, make sure you keep some of the thickness more towards the middle and near the apex area, and just fill up the nail up to where you want. So we're just going in with the pinky first. I go in at a, about a 45 degree angle, um, not all the way towards the cuticle. It's not right up against. I leave a little space. And then I'm using my flash cure lamp to flash cure the nail bed area. So that part can definitely get stuck. And then once I'm fully done, I'm gonna cure all the nails in the lamp for two minutes. I always go the two minutes just for the, for the heck of it. Why not?
All right, so you can see all the nails are done. I'm using my little uh, cuticle cleaning tool to just pop these off. Sometimes they're easy to pop off. Sometimes you need the little, you know, a little sharp tool just to put towards the edge to just get you that, that. <laughs> That was like how they call puppets or dual forms. All right, so you see how the nails came out. They're all looking very nice, but a little rough around the edges. So we are gonna go in with my 6060 nail file. This is probably even too rough of a nail file for this product because it not like it's acrylic or anything. I could probably get away with using a, um, the 100 or even 120 to do this, but eh, just using this and sharpening up my edges. All right, now that we're done with the hand file, I'm gonna go in with my fabulous Victoria, my M brand nail e-file. It is such an awesome product. I am using it with my five in one bit. I actually am very excited for the next video. It will be an unboxing of some more goodies. So I'm super excited. Hello, hello again. Just popping in to thank you so much for joining us today on Very Q Nails. I appreciate your time you take out of your day to watch or even if you're just listening and have it on in the background. I appreciate you taking that time out of your personal time to watch something that I did. And I appreciate you from the bottom of my big bear heart. Thank you so much to everyone. I appreciate all of you. If anybody is new, I would really love it if you can comment in the on the video just to let me know you're new because I don't always get notifications when it's um, a new subscriber, but I would love to know who you are. Let's keep in touch. Let's kiki. Let's chit chat. Anyway, I love y'all so much for your support your kindness your positivity and your overall awesomeness
all right now that we are done with the actual you know the hard file and now we're just gonna go in with my buffer to get a nice smooth surface on the top to apply the gel polish that i will be using today and to get any you know little stragglies off the nail about you but the shape is shaping so much so that my little brush fell down and it was just like ah and fainted <laughs> all right so as you can see we go ahead and i did my other hand i wanted to have a matching set this time so we are going to get these dual forms off and repeat the same process again in terms of filing and stick around Bam, look at that shape, honey. These will poke somebody's eyes out, girl. Love it. Love how they came out. So now we are going to go ahead and use our base coat again from our Born Pretty. And we are going to apply a thin layer onto all of our nails. Now that we got the base cured, I'm using this JXH001, which is a black that I really enjoy using. Um, it's very, very, like it's a thick gel. And I feel that you don't like, I, I obviously the darker the color, you wanna do thin layers because it'll be harder to cure. So I'm trying to go with two. So I'm going to try to do like one full layer very thinly and then another layer to, you know, cover up any lightness or sheerness that I do not want. All right, boo-boos, we are out of the lamp. I love how black nails look just like that. Mm, some black stilettos any day, honey. All right, so I'm going in with this Mora Van Chameleon Gel Polish. Um, and this one is in that color that you see. <laughs> um, I like this Chameleon Gel Polish because it kind of gives me fall vibes with its gold and orange amber type uh, color shift so I definitely wanted to stay in the realm of fall but you know giving some dark nails I love it all right we got all that gel polished and nice and cured I'm gonna go in for two minutes BAM that was so fast oh my gosh so I don't know I love this it's, I don't know I thought it was perfect for fall this is going to be a very simple nail set. <laughs> I just did not have it in me, but I wanted to do something. Um, I'm going in with that super top coat from Born Pretty, which y'all remember from my little test video is an amazing product. Awesome durability, great protection for your nails, scratch resistant, dull resistance. It's great. So I'm going to do that cure that for the full two minutes all right my loves we have applied the top coat to both hands this is what we working with i love the color shifting for the chameleon polish um obsessed perfect for fall 
or anytime you're just feeling meh. <laughs> Sending love to you all. Mwah, 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 mwah. Pushing that positivity and light to all of y'all. Love y'all. Peace.